Hi guys, welcome to Becca Does Stuff. Today's video is about 22 low waist swaps for the year 2022. Number one on that list is reusable totes. Not only are reusable totes great for reducing the production of plastic shopping bags, but they are way more durable. Number two on the list, which is along the same line, is reusable produce bags. Every time I go to the grocery store, I bring my little produce bags along with my totes. The produce bags are great for smaller items like beans, nuts, and my favorite, chocolate covered almonds. Number three is a wooden dish brush. I have one I got a few years ago and it's still going strong. I have not looked back since making the switch from sponges. I used to use sponges, but the smell, oh my God, they smell. I think it's so gross and they fall apart. And then I don't know if you guys have this or not. I mean, I'm just weird. I'm probably, it's probably just me. But when I would be using a sponge to wash like a fork or a knife, if it cut through the sponge, oh, oh, I don't know what it is, but I hate that sensation. Like, ugh, I don't know. It's kind of like the nails on a chalkboard type of thing. Number four on the list is Blue Land Household Cleaners. Their program is pretty neat. You purchase their forever bottle one time and order refill tabs as needed. The tab wrappers are compostable, but if you're not able to compost it, Blue Land will take them back. Blue Land's ingredients are clean and gentle. All of their ingredients are listed on their website so you know exactly what you are bringing into your home, unlike your typical store-bought cleaners. Number five on the list is Blue Land and Clean Colt hand soaps. I use both of these soaps. Like Blue Land, Clean Colt will take back their packaging in case carton recycling is not available where you live. They both use clean and gentle ingredients. You can check out all their credentials and certifications on their websites. Number six on the list is Beeswax Wraps. These are a great alternative to plastic cling. Unlike plastic cling that you purchase only to use once and then throw in the trash, the wax wraps are reusable and last a long time. When they start to lose their clean, you can refresh them or compost them. Number seven on the list is reusable water bottles and travel cups. I'm sure most of you have seen and probably own a reusable water bottle, but I don't think many people are aware of Simply Straws and Eco Jars travel cup lids and straws. Both of these are small businesses trying to make a big difference. Their lids screw onto mason jars, so if you have a jar laying around your house, there's no need to buy a cup for these. I take mine with me wherever I go. These are a great alternative to single-use plastic water bottles, cups, and straws. Number eight on the list is unpaper towels. There are a few things we still use paper towels for, but for the things that aren't too nasty, we use these cloth unpaper towels that I found on Etsy. These are great for cleaning up spills and drying your hands. Regular hand towels and washcloths serve the same purpose, so there's no need to go out and buy these if you already have what you need. But we personally like the feel of these on our hands and they have helped us cut back on our paper towel consumption, which saves us money in the long run, so it's a win in my book. Number nine on the list is cloth napkins. Like unpaper towels, the cloth napkins have saved us from purchasing single-use napkins. A lot of people who own cloth napkins like to save them for special occasions, but that doesn't make much sense to me. I don't see why you can't be a little fancy every time you sit down for a meal. This is another item that has saved us money, and I personally don't like the idea of buying something knowing that it's going almost immediately to the trash. I like to spend my money a little more wisely. And number 10 on the list is Plain Products Body Care Products. Plain Products makes body care products such as shampoos and lotions. They are a closed loop system. You order the products you want, they ship them to you in aluminum bottles. When your bottles are getting low, you order more and send the empty ones back. They wash, sanitize, and reuse them, so there's nothing going to the landfill. Number 11 on the list is Native Deodorant. Originally, my search for a different deodorant happened when I was hearing all the bad things about aluminum and deodorants. I tried a few other aluminum-free alternatives that just didn't cut it, and I thought there's got to be a way for me to have aluminum-free deodorant and not stink. I kept hearing about Native, so I figured I'd better give it a shot, and OMG, do I love it. I love the different scents, my armpits are happy, and it keeps working all day long. Like most other products I have mentioned here, Native lists their clean ingredients on their website and you have the option to get them in compostable applicators. Number 12 on the list is safety razors. 
This is another item that is good for the planet and my bank account. I still have some disposable razors that I'm using up, but it's taken me a long time to get through them because I also have my safety razors. Safety razors are great because they don't dull as quickly and instead of buying plastic kinds that end up in the landfills and are not cheap by the way, you just buy the blades which are super affordable and they can be recycled with companies like TerraCycle or disposed of in Sharps containers. One YouTuber I follow says that she collects hers over time and then brings them with her to the doctor's office where she safely disposes of them in a Sharps container right there in the exam room. Number 13 is dry mops. No need to go buy a dry mop if your broom or vacuum does all the work you need. But if you're like me, you have to constantly clean up dust bunnies, which are really dog hair tumbleweeds. A lot of people like using those disposable pads that you just sweep across the floor and then toss. Again, this is wasting money and resources. I own a Libman dry mop and I love it. It does a great job of grabbing dirt and pet hair and it can be thrown in the laundry when it gets a little too funky. Number 14 is thrift your clothes. There are a few clothing items that I still buy new. If it's not unmentionables or socks though, I feel comfortable buying it second hand. This is a money saver and you can find items that are quite unique. The rebel in me does not want to abide by all the latest fast fashion trends. There are second hand and consignment stores all over the place, including online. Check out threadup.com if you're looking to buy second hand. Number 15 is sustainable bed and bath. I buy my bed sheets and bath towels online from shops like Pact and Avocado. Avocado has many certifications for their efforts towards sustainability, and their materials are organic, which means the sheets you're laying on for eight hours per day are not laden with harmful chemicals, unlike the traditional non-organic sheets. Pact also sells 100% organic cotton sheets and bath towels, and a side note, if you're looking for organic cotton unmentionables, Pact sells those too. And number 16 on the list is silicone baking mats. I love my silicone baking mats. I still have aluminum foil and parchment paper that I haven't used up yet, but that's because the silicone mats are getting used over and over. This is another item that saves me money in the long run, so yay. And number 17 on the list is silicone muffin cups. I use these almost as much as I use my silicone baking mats. They are dishwasher, oven, microwave, and freezer safe. There's not much else to say. They replace disposable muffin cups, and if you bake muffins or cupcakes a lot like I do, this will save you some money. Number 18 on the list is stasher bags. A great alternative to plastic sandwich bags are stasher bags. Stasher is a superior brand that makes great quality, reusable, leak-proof bags, which are dishwasher, oven, microwave, and freezer safe. Number 19 on the list is wool dryer balls. These replace the need for disposable dryer sheets. Just toss the ball in the dryer and let it fluff and evenly dry your laundry. Mine don't look as pretty as most because I stain them with essential oils, but they work just as well. Number 20 on the list is bamboo or recycled paper toilet paper. Here's some who gives a crap toilet paper. They donate 50% of their profits to help build toilets and improve sanitation in developing areas around the world. But my favorite kind is a bamboo toilet paper made by a company called Bippy. Number 21 on the list is farmer's markets. A lot of produce in grocery stores has been shipped from all around the world, which we know isn't very sustainable. And on top of that, it's usually wrapped in packaging. If you have a farmer's market near you, hit it up. At our local farmer's market, I rarely find any produce in plastic. And if I do, I give the container back to the farmer and they reuse it. They really appreciate it as it saves them money on packaging. Supporting the local farmers is a bonus, and the food is typically fresher as it hasn't had to travel very far. And last but certainly not least, number 22 is to reuse what you already have. If there's one swap you're going to use from this video, I hope this is the one. The most low waste and cost effective thing you can do is to use what you already own. Shop your house before you shop the stores. A lot of people in the zero waste community like to post Pinterest worthy pictures of their latest and greatest sustainable product. It might be their glass or metal food storage containers, but if your old plastic ones still work, don't discard them and buy something that's quote unquote more sustainable because that's actually creating more waste. Maybe you have a pickle jar that could be cleaned out and used to store your dry beans. And if you need a cleaning cloth, try cutting up an old shirt that was about to end up in the trash anyway. You get the point.
And that is it for my 22 Lowy swaps for the year 2022. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you guys have an amazing new year. Until next time, don't forget to show some love and like and sub. Two ways to blip, 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 blip. No, it's not. That's a lie. <laughs> nope. That's wrong also. <laughs> oh, oh goodness, here comes my dog. <laughs> Goodness. Oh goodness. Okay, so that's happening. Don't eat the plants. I don't think those are good for you. Those are not dog approved. Don't eat it. Oh, hey, don't eat that. Okay, I put a little barrier in front of the gate. Let's hope it keeps the dog out of here. Oh, that barrier I put up didn't do any good. This is um, the, the head refills. Why are my outros so awkward?